here are some top tips to make Shobi work just the way you want it to. To begin with, in the top left corner, you may have your initial, or you may have a picture you've set up previously, but we can change this whenever you want to. Simply tap that picture in the top left corner, go on to edit, and then in the middle you can choose a new photo. You can upload from your camera, your photo album, wherever it may be on your device, but just remember it will be seen by teachers at your school, so make sure it's a suitable and appropriate picture, please. But apart from that, have some fun with it. It can be very hard scrolling through lots and lots of tiny attachments. So in the top right hand corner, press those three little dots and then switch on large attachment view. That way you'll see a lovely big preview of all of your learning and documents sent back by the teacher as well. When you upload a file on Shobi, quite often it will have either a default file name or a random string of letters and numbers. You can change this by tapping and holding on the file name and then selecting rename. It's a great idea to give your work memorable names, so when you scroll through in the future, you can find exactly what you're looking for really easily. You can scan a paper document straight into Shobi by pressing the plus button and then choosing scan a document. Follow the on-screen instructions to line up your page properly and automatically it will then save as a document. Press the save button in the bottom corner and now it will be an attachment just like anything else you'd find in Shobi. This is much better than photographing a document as it comes out in a far higher quality. To have Shobi read your message aloud, tap and hold on any conversation bubble and then choose the speak option. A comment. Hi everyone. In this topic we're going to share our experiences from our Egyptian robots lesson last week. Can you share something which you learned please? Sometimes you may need to join a new class on Shobi, for example a tech support group. Press the back arrow to go to your classes overview and then press the plus symbol. From here type in your five digit code and press join. As easy as that you'll be part of the new class as well as the old ones. From the home screen tap on your profile picture and then go on to notification preferences. From here you can choose how you want to be alerted when things happen on Shobi. I would suggest you have push notifications turned on, which is a little mobile phone icon, as then it will ping up on your device's screen. You can customise this by assignment, by class discussion, when a file is added, when a comment is added, and you can choose exactly which notifications you need, so you can stay on top of all the important things. When you open an attachment in Shobi, along the top of the screen you may notice some different tools. You can use these to draw or write over your page. On this times table sheet, I'm using the pen to annotate my answers. Tap on the tool again to change the colour, and don't forget you can use the eraser if you need to. When you press done, all these changes will be saved and your teacher and yourself can both see the work that you've done. After using Shobi for a while, you'll probably have quite a lot of work uploaded. You may want to keep your favourite pieces of learning all in one place. To do this, tap and hold an item, and then select Add to Portfolio. Any items you add to your portfolio, from any assignments, will all be visible in your new portfolio section on the home screen. You can keep all of your favourite learning in one place to come back to later. When you submit a piece of work on Shobi, it might be really nice to add a voice note to it. This could be to explain what you've done, your favourite part, or perhaps somewhere you found a little bit trickier. Mr. Wilcock, this is my artwork for my podcast. I think it might be the best drawing I've ever done in my whole entire life. Your teacher might even reply to you for voice note to talk about your learning that you've submitted. This is a really lovely way of staying in touch with your teacher, even when you're not in the same room because you're remote learning. Okay, that was a super quick 10 top tips for Shobi video. Please do give the video a like down below and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more videos in the future. Until then, have fun with Shobi and speak soon.